It's yeah. about time we move away from the media. Please, your people, can you also yeah. understand me over here? Why well, you are putting me in a tough spot? Okay, Let's just okay. move on. There's, <laughs> there's something on. that you have mentioned, Ruth, uh, which is which uh, which actually came up when it came to when it came to the complexity of handling scandals. Yeah. Um, there's the issue of cultural aspects of a country or a particular group that makes the scandal a scandal. Yeah, and there's this yeah. uh, politician from Canada who claimed that uh, morality changes. That um that uh, he he, uh, he actually made this statement after being involved in a scandal where he was bribing and he made the ultimate comeback just like there we saw uh, Waiguru being implicated uh, sorry governor uh, uh, Anwai Guru being implicated in the first NYS uh, issue but still ended up becoming a governor you get yeah. so now yeah. he uh, he said that morality does change and the cultural aspects of a nation affects how people perceive a scandal so I'd like to understand from you is this is this true do you believe our culture affects um, what we call a scandal well um i think i think it's it's partly true mm -hmm. because what happens is mm -hmm. when a society has and by culture you we are talking about norms established yes. norms yes. and values and yes. what people believe and and hold as as the right way in which the society should lead or mm -hmm. live or the, the manner in which we should live as a society. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it does affect. Mm -hmm. um, and and when, when the politician says that mor morals do change, morality changes, it's mm -hmm. very true. Mm -hmm. See, when you find a society that has been used to politicians stealing money. Yeah. A bribe in won't fact, shake them. Yeah, in <laughs> fact, like why haven't you not why haven't you not stolen? Yeah. You know, there, there was this time when um <laughs> persons from my one of my the tribes that I am affiliated with, mm -hmm. Luya community, mm -hmm. there was this time when all these scandals were coming up, NHIF, NSSF, NSSF, yes. the, uh, NYS. And, yeah. and and then people Afia. started asking, <laughs> mm -hmm. Luyas were asking oh. themselves, where are our people in this whole scandal? How come none of us has stolen? How come none of us has participated <laughs> in these scandals? We need to have uh -huh. a Luya, at least one Luya. To, One representative to put us on the thief. map, you know, okay. <laughs> to put us on the map. This shows you that uh -huh. we are so used to theft. Yes, we are so used to money being stolen. We are so used to public resources being 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 uh, squandered, mm -hmm. such that when somebody comes up mm -hmm. and 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 when a scandal comes up, uh, uh, akin to the nature of of, uh, of uh, yes surprised yeah. in fact we are like wow you managed to steal all those billions yeah. from the government we, even you so are impressed. The we are, running we are impressed you know <laughs> we will vote for you because and and this is this is the sad reality yeah mm -hmm. what happens is people will say ah we are the iba kwa gava mm -hmm. so there's nothing left for her to steal she won't steal from us oh. because she already stole from the government so i agree with you that our value system mm -hmm. and the manner in which as a society we handle issues yeah. affects how scandals eventually affect the politician's life you yes. get like for instance if you find a, po a politician uh, sex scandals mostly yeah yes, of yes. baby daddies oh Sijui, this person had a baby daddy a, a baby a baby mama and yes. never took care of the kid yes eventually the person the story changes the, the mm -hmm. person is told wow you know go ahead multiply and, and fill the earth that is what the bible tells us so we forget to to realize that look there is a woman out there who is suffering mm -hmm. there's a woman out there who has a kid mm -hmm. that is not being taken care of mm -hmm. and then we turn around the situation and say even our african culture says marry as many women as possible get mm -hmm. as many kids as possible fill the earth so how we handle scandals mm -hmm. is 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 in direct correlation with the kind of value systems yes. and the morals that we have as a country okay. which yeah okay um on, on the same mm -hmm. yeah she, she's over overrunning the boy child <laughs> <laughs> Over <-ruling. laughs> well, yeah, overrunning okay on the same uh, mm -hmm. our culture mm -hmm. is a culture of handouts mm -hmm. yeah. you know mm -hmm. we we exalt we exalt those who come with big cars who built big houses. Yes. Actually, by the and way, Murkomen had mentioned uh, sometimes, sorry to interrupt, uh -huh. there's actually a time Murkomen had said that Kenyans, can, Kenyans are, have a tendency to be very hypocritical because there's nothing they hate more than a broke politician. Oh, yes. 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 If you come there with your morality and you have mm. nothing to give them, mm. they'll chase you away. They one. will hear you, listen to you, <laughs> then, oh, sour. Asante sana. Then they <laughs> you have away. potential. But yeah. when you come in a Mercedes Benz, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. with money, with switch, uh, suitcase of money mm -hmm. that is what they want they will clap yeah. to you they in church they will give you red carpet mm -hmm. and they will they will celebrate you mm -hmm. that is the kenya we have mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and that's the culture mm -hmm. so we have over exalted mm 
mm-hmm. people have money without asking yeah. where did this they money come from, from? where's yeah. the origin mm-hmm. of this cash mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so those who still and again another thing is those who still again they they're not they're not uh, Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you still you buy your your way out. You buy your freedom. You know, you still that is why people say it's rather you go steal millions mm-hmm. than stealing kitchen a chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So because the chicken, uh, the person who steals chicken will go will in. be will, <laughs> will 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 do will be beaten by the people <laughs> down there and they will die. You mm-hmm. get it? Mm-hmm. But the mm-hmm. but the but the politician not mm-hmm. or not the politician that big man who will steal millions up there mm-hmm. will come. With Mm-hmm. celebrate him mm-hmm. you will give him all he wants mm-hmm. he will come to church and be given the the, the top seat mm-hmm. and that is it he will come and buy for a seat mm-hmm. that's the mm-hmm. person you'll add again you'll add more riches too mm-hmm. as a as an mp so, so it, our culture mm-hmm. is just our culture and mm-hmm. that is where we must run out mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. must r- r- run away from we should tell people mm-hmm. that's now where the political mentorship kaka comes in political why are mentorship. you mm-hmm. electing someone civil c- civic uh, ed- education mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why do you elect as someone? Mm-hmm. Do you elect somebody because he has some money? Mm-hmm. That's the question. Mm-hmm. So we should get out of that mm-hmm. for us to be able to say, to say that really as as Kenya yeah. we are headed somewhere. And it's possible. You look at Rwanda. Mm-hmm. Rwanda is doing badly. Mm-hmm. You know the history of Rwanda, mm-hmm. where it has come from, the mm-hmm. genocide and all that. Mm-hmm. But in Kenya today, Rwanda mm-hmm. is number four. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. where the co- the co- co- corruption index in Rwa- in Rwanda is very low. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's possible. It's just a, a one man, one woman to stand up and say it's enough. So basically, you guys are saying for the current situation, if anybody is ad- wanting to, to go into power, they better be prepared to break the rules and buy their freedom. I mean, like, wow, that's it's, not it's, very it's encouraging you know, news it's, for them. It's the actually youth. very unfortunate, yeah. yeah. Mm. Because um, some of us out here are actually thinking about morals we are actually thinking of transforming our political uh, our political culture we are thinking of mm-hmm. how do we make how do we how do we change the narrative you mm-hmm. know because at some point there needs to come a generation that will change the narrative because mm-hmm. like right now young people are realizing that with all this corruption that is going on mm-hmm. we are the ones who we are the proverbial ngombe, you know, we are the proverbial cow that when, <laughs> when, two, when two, mm-hmm. it grass, yeah? We are the yeah. proverbial grass that when two cows fight, yeah? when the bulls are fighting, the bulls are fighting to naumia. Nyasi ndio inaumia, you know, so w- young people are slowly realizing that we are the proverbial nyasi. Yes. But then, but then the thing is that the, we have a choice to either change the narrative mm-hmm. or continue with the same narrative, push yeah. it on, you know, mm-hmm. get in and, and become even and more corrupt because yeah. now, you know, the younger the generation, the more innovative it is. So, so we have a choice to either use our innovativeness mm-hmm. to transform and change the narrative mm-hmm. and, and say that look for once we are going to be as uh, we are going to be a, a, a generation of leaders with integrity mm-hmm. we are actually going to ensure that the chapter six of the constitution mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. ethics and 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 integrity the integrity chapter six of the constitution mm-hmm. will actually be put to play mm-hmm. such that we operate in a manner as the as the as the ethics and the ethics uh, the integrity chapter talks about mm-hmm. leadership and integrity chapter talks about the fact that you know th- power authority bestowed upon a leader should should be exercised in a manner that brings honor to the office you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and integrity to that office mm-hmm. that are we going to be the generation that will say you know what mm-hmm. we want to bring honor to this office so that it becomes such a it becomes such an honor to even become a governor mm-hmm. i mean look at the kind of governors we have today and yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to mention names mm. some of these governors are the worst examples ever for mm-hmm. leadership yeah. and if we are telling young people that you know mm-hmm. you can also be a leader you can also be a governor yeah. and then the, the, the example of a governor that you're having is one who goes on media and mm-hmm. confesses that he, he has been smoking bangi you know confesses that he has been stealing so you ask yourself mm-hmm. what kind of example are we showing to our generation mm-hmm. look at other countries as I, I i followed closely the U, united states primary elections yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh sorry not primary the the last elections that were the, the for the for the congress yeah. congressmen and congresswomen and mm-hmm. and senate and and mm-hmm. you know the house and 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 senate mm-hmm. and i would see the kind of leaders that were elected and i still follow them on instagram i follow them on twitter these are women especially the women who are elected by the democratic Do party you know, i was even going to ask you what kind of the leaders that you admire and those that influence but yeah. really, let me tell you all <laughs> <laughs> i i i personally admire women like maria contes you know she mm-hmm. stands up for what she believes in mm-hmm. ilhan this woman who was who came from the kenyan whatever uh, the somalian yes. who was at mm-hmm. kakuma camp mm-hmm. you see these are women who stand for something they believe in 
and something. Mm -hmm. Stacey Abrams, even though she lost, you could see that she was pushing for an agenda. And mm -hmm. these are people who, and you see in the United States, you will be, forget about the president. Let's talk about these other leaders. A proper thorough background check will be done on you. By the mm. time you're standing for governor, you have a clean slate, you know. Mm. But then in this country, my friend, it's it's crazy. There's well, no accountability. There is no accountability. There is no check. There is nothing. Mm. You so, present your papers to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, uh -huh. but then you, you're cleared, yes, and yet you have cleared, scandals yeah. that are dating back to 19 before I was born, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy. What kind of leadership system are we having in place? Mm -hmm. And and as young leaders, are mm -hmm. we ready to change the narrative? Benson Musungu, are you ready to change the narrative? Because you know we've heard of political parties Do you know that they're even afraid of us now. Like that's because the of thing. the bad example that's they have the set, thing. they are so afraid of us. Yeah, because now, like mm. as young people, we will come in and try to change the narrative. Yes. You know, and and this is where an example of someone like Boniface Mwangi, who was standing up for the truth, even mm -hmm. his party is called Lukweli Party. Mm -hmm. You would see him wanting to change the narrative, pushing for it. Mm -hmm. But you know, the system tells you, my friend, are you coming here to change? the way things are done, mm -hmm. or are you coming here to conform to the system? So mm -hmm. we really need to start having conversations around how do we change this narrative. Mm -hmm. And the narrative can be changed by young people saying that, you know what, in the coming elections, we are not going to be bribed. In the coming elections, we are not going to be used. In the coming elections, we are going to look at what is your okay. track record. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Actually, you, you uh, can you please exchange your mic? Sorry, I'm getting information that should exchange your right. microphones. Okay. All right. All right. Sawa, sawa. Carry on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um we have good laws. Mm -hmm. Just the way Ruth has said. Mm -hmm. We have good laws, law laws. Which the chapter six, the integrity mm -hmm. part of it. Mm -hmm. We it, it, that uh, stipulates so well that a leader, mm -hmm. a, a person who's going to be a leader mm -hmm. in our country should be one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But who who is uh, who looks at who who implements that? Mm -hmm. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. Nobody impl 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 implements it. Mm -hmm. And you have so many other good laws, and we keep enacting laws in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the difference between us and the 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 the, the other um, democracies that have grown over the years, mm -hmm. like the U.S. that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. One time I was, mm -hmm. one time I was in De in Denmark mm -hmm. for their election, and mm -hmm. it was super. Mm -hmm. You look at the kind of leaders, you look at the, the, the way election is done, mm -hmm. and you wonder, where did we go wrong as a country? That's but true. again, you, t you tell yourself, okay, maybe we are still a young democracy. Them, they are in, uh, in, 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 a hun in hundreds or 200 years of uh -huh. a democracy. Yeah, you know? that's and true. And <laughs> it's an election day, mm -hmm. people just leave their homes and go vote. And there are no campaigns. Mm -hmm. They are voting purely on mm -hmm. issues. Yeah. You know, yeah. all the candidates are there, and they are campaigning purely on issues. Mm -hmm. You know, that you know, is where we are. Th that's where we must get as a country. Mm -hmm. And it, we must do it as the youth. We mm -hmm. must start it. You know, the youth are the people. Are do you know you have uh, what I've had what I, when I've been listening to the two of you over here? You guys have not mentioned any Kenyan leaders that you mm -hmm. admire. Everybody, <laughs> was, everybody <laughs> was from outside. Benson has not said any. It is so, so unfortunate. No, 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 it's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's unfortunate. Uh -huh. oh, not that we don't have leaders here who made it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, at least yeah. that's a Kenya. Yeah, uh -huh. but your people in Kenya again, mm -hmm. the leaders we have I in mean, Kenya we have who, the Makweni, who tried, Makweni governor, who tried. He's not doing well. Uh -huh. Even uh -huh. my, even my go governor in where, where I come from, in Kakamega, yeah. he's not yeah. doing yes, well. Yes. You know, if you look Kakamega at what he has done, really well. if you look at what he has done with the the little amount he has, he has been given, mm -hmm. that is the governor. When I you sema iti, we on the mesoma katiba kele what is the evolution i mm. like that because mm. he has tried you mm -hmm. can look you can see mm -hmm. the transformation mm -hmm. of of kakamega you know so, so for you that that accounts for 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 something we can look up to yeah. yes regardless of in yes. people who also don't and have again, the scandals yeah. as well yeah. and again i've seen a person who was a watchman mm -hmm. go campaign with mm -hmm. no money mm -hmm. and won. still doing mm -hmm. his watchman job mm -hmm. and won mm -hmm. an MCS seat yeah. and still he does not believe that he has won in Kenya. <laughs> he still goes back to work mm -hmm. to every every day morning for at least three weeks uh -huh. to be sure that really mm -hmm. he, has he has been won. So, 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 so <laughs> yeah. as okay. an MCA. That's good. You I'm know? glad to so hear it's, that. It's easy. It, it's uh, there. It's working. It's working. And so there are some who we can look up to. Yeah. Pound, 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 and continue pounding. Okay. Okay. Yes. I like that. I like the fact that you've mentioned the leaders that you admire and at least you look up to. So let's talk about the scandalous ones. Um, in the event that, uh, <laughs> in the ev <laughs> okay, maybe maybe I should direct this one to you, Ruth. Okay. Um, when when a scandal, when something blows up and it's about you as a political uh, actor, and it is not true. 
for example it mm-hmm. is not true mm-hmm. what do you do what should you do even before and before before the mid before before it's proved that it is not true <laughs> and after it is proved that it is not true like even in the case of our governor from Migori um mm-hmm. uh, Obado you know he has, he's, he's had a case where the allegations we have we don't know whether they've been proven true or false what should somebody do if the if the allegations are not true like in your case as mm-hmm. well what should mm-hmm. somebody do number 1 you mm-hmm. need to just first of all calm down calm down <laughs> calm down <laughs> because uh-huh. if it is not true mm-hmm. then it is not true mm-hmm. if you know you didn't do what what has been alleged of you mm-hmm. you have to just calm down you mm-hmm. see mm-hmm. most of the times uh, you you panic because you know it is true uh-huh. and you know it is going to have a, a, a it's going to uh, to have implications a, upon you and you don't know how things are going to turn out mm-hmm. but if it is not true you just first of all calm down mm-hmm. number two stop engaging people online you know trying to prove that mm. that 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 uh, that it is not true mm-hmm. the more you, you you insist on proving that it is not true mm-hmm. the more you show people you the more you appear as defensive if, yes as if yeah. you're defensive as mm-hmm. if there is something you're trying to hide mm-hmm. i think for me i made that mistake mm-hmm. um after immediately after doing the expose mm-hmm. i started responding to people you know mm-hmm. responding to who are calling me con men yeah. and a friend of mine called me and told me ruth first of all relax. just calm down mm-hmm. you know it is not true right mm-hmm. you relax you know mm-hmm. stop 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 Uh, responding to these people because the more you respond to them mm-hmm. the more they think you're hiding something That's true. take time let the scandal first of all let the heat calm down and meanwhile as the heat is calming down mm-hmm. have your strategy mm-hmm. the strategy being mm-hmm. how do i eventually communicate after this all, all, all of this heat has has died down yeah. how do i eventually communicate to people that okay mm-hmm. so this is it this is what i have been accused of mm-hmm. this is my evidence that i was not involved in that particular scandal mm-hmm. i was not involved in stealing maize i was not involved involved in stealing money that belongs to to the county government mm-hmm. so you you need to take some time back and now develop as the scandal is running mm-hmm. have your strategy team working mm-hmm. i remember a friend of mine she's a cec a very young lady mm-hmm. a cec of higa county mm-hmm. she had been accused of squandering uh uh county government money mm-hmm. which and and the, the the story turned out not to be true it was actually not a true story mm-hmm. and they wanted to impeach her mm-hmm. so she was very panicked she was panicking she was she didn't know what to do she was running around you know almost losing her mind mm-hmm. and and she she got a team of guys and I was part of the team that mm-hmm. was trying to strategize mm-hmm. as to how she will respond to the committee of inquiry mm-hmm. And, and the manner in which she would respond such that her truth would come out so yeah. as you as the story is running as the heat is going on, is, is the heat is going on mm-hmm. gather your evidence mm-hmm. gather your evidence bring your team together mm-hmm. have advisors don't don't depend on yourself don't rely on yourself because in as much as you will calm down mm-hmm. some of the things that people will say about you will affect will you, affect you yeah. you know yeah. you, they will affect you you'll, you'll start asking yourself so now mm-hmm. that this person is insisting on social media that that I am also a con man and they also have a huge following yeah. what does that have how is that going to Im- to to to, to yeah, impact me in, mm. in a particular way mm. how does it impact my brand how does it uh, impact who i am and and the, the the manner in which the society views me so mm-hmm. once you have gathered your evidence bring together your team mm-hmm. and after everything has calmed down when now people are sober mm-hmm. unleash your truth mm-hmm. tell them this is it i have been accused of this however in my defense it is not true on that particular day when it is said i was at that venue i was not there here is where i was here mm-hmm. this person can vouch for me here are the st- time stamps here is the evidence come up with all your evidence such that by the time you're done people will just be like okay so what did we do and you see the thing is if you ca- if you eventually prove that mm-hmm. you are actually not involved as it was alleged mm-hmm. What ends up happening is that your credibility goes up, up yes, you know. Yeah. And then the other thing is my friends, so take the legal scandals can work to your yeah, advantage. Yeah, they can work to your advantage. The uh. other thing is that take legal action. If oh. somebody has thoroughly um tarnished, tarnished you. your name, defamed mm. you, mm. that you can sue for defamation. Mm-hmm. And my friend, you will make a lot of money. I like that. Yes, you yeah, will. Okay, business opportunity <laughs> right there. Oh, but, it's, but it's almost time we conclude this segment. So let's make our answers real quick. Benson, what would you do if you have if a scandal blew up about you and no, you know that it is not true? We need to know. Maybe have has you had, had a scandal? political scandal? I've, 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 microphone, I've, microphone. I've, I've had, uh, I've mm-hmm. not had like... Uh, to like my extent <laughs> to the extent mm-hmm. but um, you've had yes some. i've had some mm-hmm. yeah yes and um really uh the best thing is just to stop mm-hmm. just to stop mm-hmm. fast mm-hmm. and think mm-hmm. yes stop and think yes because that is um, calm down basically re- calm down yeah. if you react on them mm-hmm. then you escalate them 
Yeah, you escalate so the So just issue. keep off. Mm -hmm. Let them say, say, say. At the end, when you're not talking, mm -hmm. they will have to look for you now. Ask you. <laughs> and ask you, you your think? side of the story. Yeah. What, what is this? What is <laughs> yeah. This is true. Because mm -hmm. I can see, you know, mm -hmm. you're not talking about it. Mm -hmm. not, you know? Yeah. And that's the best way of handling such. such. Mm -hmm. but, but again, mostly, when mm -hmm. these th 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 things happen, mm -hmm. <laughs> mostly they are true, eh? <laughs> and you must say that <laughs> yeah, okay because true. my next question was actually on mostly. what if it is true yeah. Yeah. Mostly what do you do mm? especially with the people in the public do domain yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. most of these things that you hear happen they are true Ruth, so is it true and we don't I am not in the public <laughs> domain I'm only, a private citizen only, my scandal came yes, up yes <laughs> only only that now uh -huh. what now they do is they mm -hmm. retrieve and go and clean up uh -huh. and the cleaning up now is where we go back where we started mm -hmm. you have money to go wash yourself <laughs> through yeah. the media, yeah. uh -huh. the money to wash yourself mm -hmm. through other means, mm -hmm. including looking for those particular people. Who, so if it is true, you have the scandals. money to wash yourself. Even others have been dirty. <laughs> others have gone dirty to the point uh -huh. of even others killing yeah, others, yeah. you know, witnesses. You mm -hmm. get it? Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it happens so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is uh, in our society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So uh, what if, if, it's if it true? is true, <laughs> go and wash it up. No, if it is true, true. Eat, eat your mostly tomatoes. It's true. Eat your tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, mostly it's true. I like the funny. But but, <laughs> but at the end, it's mm -hmm. washed. It's yeah, washed, and uh, yeah. the person who blew it up now uh, is either de 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 dealt with mm -hmm. financially mm -hmm. or yeah. even death. Which yeah. is unfortunate. Yeah. I think sometimes when, when something comes up that you did and you honestly know that you did it, just mm -hmm. admit, you know, mm -hmm. admit. But some of like, these like things like might have this, very Like in my case, remember, the perpetrator, the con man admitted, went yeah. to the media and said, yeah, by yeah, the way, hey, everything is true. You know? sure. But then yeah. now you see the problem <laughs> is, the, the problem is when you admit without going back and actually compensating or, or repatriating the victims in mm. your case you know okay. like like if, if for instance it is said you stole someone's money mm -hmm. admit that you did it and pay back that money you know mm -hmm. if it is said you 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 impregnated someone you're a politician you impregnated a woman mm -hmm. and are not taking care of the kid mm -hmm. admit that that kid is yours because mm -hmm. at the end of the day DNA doesn't lie the kid mm -hmm. will look like you like That's no one's true. business yeah. you know and it will be difficult to to, to deny it yes admit that indeed you're on the wrong mm -hmm. and and make things right you you know, I believe we are a forgiving society. Yeah. Mm. However, forgiveness must be must be matched with justice, you mm -hmm. know. Let's not just forgive and say, oh, please forgive me. Mm. And you're not going back to actually mm -hmm. take care of the victims and, and compensate them. So mm. admit and compensate. Mm -hmm. yeah. in, in other countries, like of course. That. Admit and compensate. And compensate. Yeah. In other ca countries, mm -hmm. by the way, mm -hmm. leaders leaders just get out and, uh, and they, they step admit. Down. They admit. Yeah. And they even, and they even and yeah, resign. Yeah, that's true. Like a, you know? a good example yeah. is, is of uh, you, President Nixon, Nixon. Mm -hmm. Richard Nixon mm. yeah. when the when the Watergate scandal came out mm. he actually investigations were done and when he was going to be impeached he said you know what mm -hmm. let me just step down yeah. mm -hmm. he admitted that he, he indeed was was involved in it mm -hmm. and he stepped he actually stepped down mm -hmm. and the president that followed that came after him president Ford mm -hmm. actually pardoned him you know yeah. so yeah s sometimes it doesn't have to be the and in North Korea Park, uh -huh. the lady who mm -hmm. was here some ti times ago, mm -hmm. she was here and when she went back, she was impeached. Mm -hmm. After be being impeached, mm -hmm. what happened? Mm -hmm. The case went on and right now she's serving 25 years in prison. Wow. Yeah. That's a former president, immediate former president. Mm. She's serving. That's the laws that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can that happen in Kenya today? I do not I know. <laughs> you let us know. Maybe in the future we will yeah? know. Yeah, three, but so. you guys, I think it's about time we conclude this segment. Uh -huh. Thank you guys so much for coming and letting us know how you people deal with your own scandals as well. <laughs> mm. And people shouldn't fear. Especially yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, especially? Yeah. <laughs> don't Let's victimize her. her. She, no, she's giving us real time, real time <laughs> response. But it's true, real time. Yeah. Real time. I like that. In fact, that's exactly why I wanted her here because yeah. she has no authority on the oh, subject yeah. Yeah. yes so thank you so much for coming you guys god bless you mm -hmm. please you. come again for youth and politics especially now when we're talking about women leaders yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's about my collection of patching shots yeah you uh -huh. can tell us some of the lessons you'd wish to share with the people at home when it comes to leadership real quick okay um what i'll say is that uh, there is hope there is hope in kenya there is hope that uh we as a country we can move in the right direction if mm -hmm. we decide mm -hmm. And um, because of the few things we've seen change mm -hmm. where we in this country. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm calling upon the youth. Mm -hmm. They should not give up. Mm -hmm. I know corruption and bad manners and thievery has mm -hmm. really taken out, taken away what they deserved. Yeah. But then 
they must still be hopeful mm-hmm. things are changing mm-hmm. even in this uh, in this regime of handshake mm-hmm. yeah there's mm-hmm. so much that is changing Benson, the I first really time uh, the first we, this handshake. is the first time we've had the co- uh, uh-huh. conference uh, uh-huh. an anti corruption conference in this country <laughs> and you true. can see the things that were progress. unearthed mm. and the progress that the, that came from there mm-hmm. so let's be hopeful let's mm-hmm. be enthusiastic mm-hmm. we have a nation mm-hmm. as a young people mm-hmm. and there is a greater future mm-hmm. let's just do our small bit mm-hmm. as the youth and okay. show the direction yeah. i like that benson yeah. thank you um i, I mean for me mm-hmm. my parting shot would be that never underestimate a group of young people committed to make a difference i like and, that and 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 when i mean a group of young people i mean it could be two young people it mm-hmm. could be three young people saying you know what enough is enough the narrative needs to change never underestimate that group of young people and we need to start forming and creating that group of young people that will mm-hmm. say we shall not be overshadowed by politics mm-hmm. we shall not be uh, overshadowed by the happenings the current happenings mm-hmm. we shall not lose hope that we can actually have yeah. a transformation in terms of leadership in the yeah. leadership of our country yeah. And not only are we to keep up the hope, mm-hmm. but we should immerse ourselves and we should take up those leadership positions ourselves, you know, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. make that difference. And mm-hmm. and for the young people, when the young people stand and say, elect me, I, mm-hmm. I intend to be that voice of difference. I intend to be the one that brings about the change. Mm-hmm. Can we trust them? Yeah. Trust them without the money. Trust mm-hmm. them without the big cars. Trust them without the fame, you know. Mm-hmm. When people like me in 2022 decide mm-hmm. to throw our hearts in the ring, Woo! please trust us Twendekazi. i like that <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming today ruth awesome. i like that don't give up let us not give up as an issue yeah. we will not be nasty for too long mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so yes you've been watching youth and politics and we've been letting you know how to deal with a scandal in case you do want to take up a position of leadership do not fear you have heard it from the horse's mouth <laughs> eh? that these things they also pass yeah, yeah they pass yeah. with time so please i hope you paid attention and but in case you missed any of the valuable insight discussed here you can find us at y254 channel on youtube so you can check out ruth in case you missed it and benson thank you guys so much for coming and yes goodbye it's about time i tap out